Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with the basic Creo Simulate. So we will start absolutely from scratch and I will show you some details. So we will create new 3D model, so simulate can be name and we will create first extrude feature and I will create thicken sketch. It will be much faster. And sketch plan will be this one, for example, and I will create only two lines for the quick explanation and in later example I will show you more. So some dimension we can create simple, for example, L profile. So the thickness will be, for example, only five millimeters and you can change the where you would like to make the thickness. Yes, yeah, so for example, symmetrically of the created line. Okay, doesn't matter. And you can see here that right now we have some the L profile. As you know, it's possible to select the definition and specify the the necessary depth so we can maybe reuse the symmetrical depth. Fine, perfect. This will be simple console. So what does it mean? You will select this surface and mount it on the another one. So for example, we'll be welded, yeah? And then over here we will put and some force will be there. But the modeling is easy. What is necessary to prepare is model property. So for example, if I need to calculate in megapascal, I need to think about it. Units has to be changed. So I use it also that I will change to Newton second because I like to set the Newtons as the force. Yes, yeah, so I will set and one to one because I don't want to change the dimension. So what is created will be one to one. So nothing will be changed. I don't want to transform the inch to millimeter or opposite. And also I will apply directly the material. So if I will select the material here, you are able to select a couple of material and I have prepared for me the steel mechanical light. So what does it mean? You can select double click system will apply it for you in this menu and you can assign or set as master in Creo 8. You can see here that I specified the density and be careful if I will select double click, maybe it will be better. You will see the density is specified as the minus 0 0.9 and it's in tone. So it's not the default and because it's based on the definition what I have specified for the millimeter Newton second. So yeah, it's corresponding. So please reuse these numbers and if I will continue with the application and simulate, so I will select application over here, you know that also the material assignment is here. Yeah, so you can apply the material and from the drop down menu, you are able to select material. If you will check the gravity, the gravity is also possible to specify it so you can select the gravity and system will show you the gravity. Now, now I don't want to apply the gravity, so we will specify the displacement. And now if I will select displacement, we will set that this plate will be fixed. As I mentioned, for example, welded. And what does it mean here? You can see that translation is fixed and rotation is free because, for example, you would like to a little bit spin. Yeah? For example, I will move it here so the system has to somehow move in the space these welded uh, da data or the surface. So the constraint is defined and if I will jump to do force, the system allowed to me to select the surface or boundary or, or any references. For now, if I will select this surface, everything will go down. So no, I don't want to use the whole surface here. For example, we can say that we will specify the volume region and in vol volume region, I will create some easy shape where it will be oriented. So for example, over here in this square, you can specify dimension, you, are, you will push and apply some force. When you finish the feature, volume region, you can go back to home tab. And right now, if I will select the force moment, it's possible to specify the force yeah, over here. So I will specify only this surface. So only this surface will be forced. And over here is the coordinate system. So you know that you need to specify the Newtons. Yeah, over here is the Newtons. So for example, I don't know, 
200 kilograms, yeah, so 2000 newtons. If I will come from OK, but we have to go down. So you see that is necessary to specify the minus. If I will come from OK, yeah, arrows are going well. And we are ready to calculate. Materials is set, displacement is set, and force is defined. In the analysis and studies, if you will select this functionality, first of all, please check the properties or configure setting. Over here in the memory allocation, please use the half of RAM. My computer is 16 uh, gigabyte of RAM, so I will use the 8000 yeah, megabytes. So if I will come from OK, the calculation is ready in the file, new static. I will specify for now single pass adaptive method. In the next tutorial, I will go through and I will explain to you more details regarding the multi pass adaptive, or we'll see what will be upcome your questions. So over here, you see that the constraints are defined, load is set also for this static analysis definition. And if I come from OK, I am able to run analysis. If you select, the system if found some same analysis you can continue and come from OK. And the over here is really nice display study status. And you can see what the system calculate and you can see that right now the system go through two times and the calculation was on the second level of the calculation. Yeah. And what does it mean? If you have the multipass adaptive, you have possibility that system will go through the calculation more than two times. What does it mean? Maximum is nine and system will calculate the necessary information in the really good quality. So Cornwall Gains took more than two times. Yes, yeah, so you will specify more details. That's everything for simple calculation and quick calculation is good enough. And over here you can select the result so review results and i will specify the necessary information what does it mean quantity everything is defined stress and megapascals and in display option i like to see the continuous stone and deformed geometry hit the enter ok and show and you will see that the megapascals what are here right now it's almost 186 maybe 207 and also you can visualize it maximum minimum and so on and last but not least is the displacement so you can specify for example magnitude in y and the system will show you that maximum of the movement based on the 200 kilograms is minus two millimeters so it's really really big value so 200 kilograms for this small holder is really huge one in the next video tutorial i will focus on the maximum minimum and explanation of the displacement and how you can specify the additional information thank you so much and bye bye